welcome to the Prototype Toronto League Top Cut Season 13. I'm Aaron P, and I'm here with the infamous Sweet Bats. Infamous already? Yeah, man. Was our last game that bad on uh, PTL? <laughs> that was a whole season ago. Was it? Yeah, it I was. It felt like a long time ago. It was a lifetime ago. Tonight Ooh. we have Kelvin Lau and Evan Cameron. Should be a good knee slapper of a game for us tonight. Yeah, these poor guys match up every frigging season every frigging tournament usually in like round two or something they should probably stop being good and that would take care of the problem i think i mean it seems just to be a random phenomenon that that occurs so yeah there's a bit of a canon ryu rivalry be getting built over here considering how often these guys always play each other and it's uh quite tit for tat on all on all levels honestly they feel bad about it for each other mm. um because you know they're each rooting for each other and the other gets knocked out however here only one can walk away and I'm going to ask you right off the bat, because as we, as you have much told me many times, turn zero is one of my weaker points of the game. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on analyzing the way you're seeing this being set up and how this is going down right now. Well, uh, the first thing to notice is that Kelvin has a first player, mm -hmm. which is horrible for him. <laughs> it's, it's not great. Mm -hmm. It's going to be really hard. He's got IGB and IGA. So he's got IGA who can transfer uh, calculate tokens to other... Uh, ships in the list because Forlom has IG-88D uh, and he's got B which allows you to shoot with a cannon after you miss with the first shot and all of Evan's ships are higher initiative than Kelvin's which means he's got full board knowledge when he decides to activate absolutely so that's really rough for him oh hey um, so Evan is here for his interview so how are you feeling about this matchup uh, I feel pretty good uh, it's yeah. a tough one for Kelvin he's got I fours and lower, and I have all I fours and higher, and I have a one point bid, and he doesn't. Um, that fantastic one point bid. Yep. Well, uh, you know, we actually were talking about this yesterday. Kelvin has a tendency to bid big or not bid at all. Yep. And yeah, that, that's exactly how it goes. So, how are you going to defeat him here? I mean, the, the one thing that's really scary for me in this list is Forlom. Mm -hmm. um, but I think what, what I'll probably do is stall with the uh, generic uh, in that corner. Mm -hmm. See if he decides to go towards the generic, in which case I'll just continue to stall and kind of bail. Mm -hmm. uh, or if he tries to turn in towards Quick Draw or, or Kylo, give the, the flank to uh, the generic. And then, yeah, one of my guys is getting a flank, uh, and Quick Draw kind of goes down the middle and probably goes down in a, a ball of fire, but hopefully does some damage in the process. Yeah. I mean, Kelvin's a good player, right? Yeah. Um, so what can he do? He just has to get get all the arcs on, on one of my ships, call me on, on something, and... You know, uh, with with the double tap for the jamming beam, even if he misses an attack, he has a good chance to, to strip tokens with a double tap. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, if he can double stress either of my silencers with uh, Forlom, obviously that's big. Yes. Um, so I think those are those are his main his main win conditions. Well, uh, good luck, man. Thank and you. Have fun in there. So what are you going to do here? How I'll are you going to climb this mountain? Instantly lose? <laughs> Hey, man, I just thought it was a casual game, you know. I came here expecting to play some casual X-Wing, and then, like, Evan comes on here and brings Quick Draw Kylo. I mean, it's, it's all good. It's all good. I mean, I don't want you to win twice. I, I came out off the Season 7 though, and I'm pretty happy about that, and then now yeah. I'm going to lose in Top 8. So, yeah, that's uh, it's been fun. Thanks, to, thanks for commenting this game, and I hope you guys enjoy watching me lose instantly. Okay, is there anything at all you can do here? Like, strategically, are you, like, looking at it? What do you, what do you think? I'm really just hoping, like, he flies off the board and I win that way, because <laughs> this is really the only way I can win this matchup. Like, even if it's just he had just Kylo here, I'm just, like, I would instantly lose. Like, well, it would take a little time. It will take a little bit longer, yeah. This is going to be like a 15-minute game. <laughs> At most. Anyways, enjoy the game. All right, well, good luck, man. Thanks. And here we are getting into it. So, Kelvin looks like he's bringing in number two, mm -hmm. which is IGA on the flank position. He's not letting himself get flanked by number uh, Evan's number three, the First Order Test Pallet, uh, which is smart, but... It looks like he wants to curl um, number one, IGB, back in behind Forlom and try to prevent front on, present a front on that side. Now, aside from Elvin, uh, Kelvin's very um, 
positive interview. There is potential <laughs> for him in here. Here, the biggest piece that we have to be worried about on if you're on Evan's side of that guy, we've got to be the four lump. Yeah, Kylo's Kylo. The silencer's power comes in its afterburner ability. No, I'm sorry, um, auto thrusters ability. It's going to want to double stress. It's going to want to stress itself, and uh, to having to live in fear of not being able to get double stress is, is actually potentially could be um, one of Kelvin's most powerful pieces in the game. Yeah, well, I like this opening on his part. Oh no, he's he's just uh, presenting a broad front, um, and you know that that gives him some kind of chance here. But like Kylo really doesn't have to um, double action; he can just boost or barrel roll. Absolutely, because of the force. the force. Yeah. Exactly, you're right. So he can play a little bit more cagey. And Unless a more there's anemic. a whole bunch of guns on him, he doesn't need to. You're right. Uh, he can take a damage here and there. He doesn't care. But however, being forced to just the one reposition action a turn might be all the edge. Kelvin needs to find a way, a little case in. Maybe. Maybe. He's got to be careful with Forlom here because Evan is coming for Forlom. Yeah, absolutely. If I were gotta... Evan, I'd just trade quick draw for Forlom. Straight up. Like, whatever. And yeah. then you've got two black. Yeah, at that then point then. You win that game. Yep. So then what you're saying then is for Kelvin, so he's got to keep Forlom alive as long as possible in order for him to have a, a, an edge in there. He's got to get he's got to get quick draw off the board as soon as possible, obviously, or at least get her shields down to take away that yep. potential double tap capabilities. The jamming beams could come into place here. Um, wow. Look at this. Look at this move by Kylo. He's just fearless. Is he trying to get... Uh, um, to get... Um, I'll show you the dark side to trigger. Well, I guess he's probably trying to come in and sweep and cut the legs out from uh, Forlom by coming in from the flank on that side. I guess mm -hmm. that's the only reason why he can hang out that other first order test pilot to dry if he wants to and dance him back. He's still in with a hard one next turn anyways. Yep. <laughs> There's four calculate tokens on IGB. So we've got three to start. Three at range three. And we have... Yep. Yep, three. <laughs> I guess that's the only ship. Two ships in range. Oh, yep. Three. <laughs> Look at that. Kylo takes a damage. Squeak one through. <laughs> I mean, hey, that's a thing that does happen in 2.0, which we all need to... Well, we, we have kept it in mind, but that's the thing, right? It comes up, and it's just like, oh, right, I can take a range three damage. <laughs> yes, you can. I'm not supposed to, but I can. <laughs> yes. Who needs double taps? So I believe... Uh, Evan elect to spin all shorty dark side mm -hmm. because he'd regen the force anyways at and the end of this turn. He'll give him which a friendly panic pilot. Absolutely makes sense. It's about the only one that ever I use whenever I have Kylo on the board. I'm actually really excited to see how Evan's list uh, is operating in this situation because I'm been meaning to get back more into the game and to spend a lot of time with double silencers because I want to mess around with that more. I know you've been messing around with it quite a bit too, and it's just it's quite a powerful little ship. Oh, it's great. Yeah, the FO test pilot is my favorite new thing. 60 points with Fanatical. Do you think it's a bit pricey? I don't know. I can't tell. Like, um, the upcoming points changes, a lot of people are still asking for them to come down. They just went down in the last one. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm reluctant to have big price changes right now. I think a lot of stuff is in a good place, except for Scum, which needs to come down. Right, across almost the across board. the board. Yeah. But uh, by the time this is up, the points change will probably happen. So I don't know. Um, right. I think maybe a point off the silencers would be fine. You don't want... With, with. You yeah. don't want to go too far down on it lest it becomes too powerful because that might I mean, give it free FCS or any of those other kinds of things yeah. becomes a little bit more of a problem, especially considering it has double reposition. Okay, so what does Kelvin do here? Hmm. He's got red three banks and four long. He yep. advanced sensors and swing somewhere. Um, what he doesn't have is a nice um, short maneuver that's red, except for the hard one. Which he could advance senses for a barrel roll hard one and be right in range to stress Kylo, especially if he can bump with IG, who could do a one forward. Mm -hmm. Forcing, I mean, if you're Evan, I think you're programming a five forward, aren't you? Oh, he is doing it. So he's going for quick draw. So he's going to advance sensors? Yes, so he gets two for the initial <laughs> um, action, and then he gets one for Forlom's pilot ability, which right. gives him one whenever he does a red maneuver. Right. And calculate. Which yep, makes sense why he brought the gas clouds, because mods aren't really a problem for his list, considering nope. it's basically a mind link list. Yep. A little less efficient. Wow. He's really calling a fast move. Well, I think what he's doing here is he's obviously assuming he doesn't care about the five. The bumping the 5-4 doesn't do anything for him. I think he's trying to bump the turn in on Kylo to protect his forelong. That's a good, good plan. Because that's a two-bank block right there, which is a pretty brilliant maneuver. Oh, did he get a block here? He did. Whoa. Okay. Oh, he made a fit. 
No, I think it was a bump. Just a bump. Well, the judge will tell us. So do you think he was... It looks like... Yep. <laughs> Kelvin has got him. His list is so ill-matched that he's just thrown Elvin on the back foot. So a double bump potential and a potential kill box on quick draw. If quick draw went anything more than two forward. Yeah, hopefully she... Ooh, two forward. I think she's out of uh, um, IG... Um, yep. That's IGB. Yeah, IGB yep. Zerk. Now, you don't roll here, do you? You do roll. Okay. Forcing Kelvin to potentially... Well, actually, he won't actually be able to take advantage of a tractor beam here. He, he wants... Yeah, he wants to get away Oh, he doesn't have stress. tractor beam. Sorry. He does not have stress. Uh, yeah, it's jamming beam. Has it been that, that long since I've used it? <laughs> uh, whatever that ship's called. I even forgot what his name is. It's actually a pretty good move, because he's got the... Uh, if he takes shield damage from... For Lom, he can double tap him. And the gas cloud will give him that auto thruster now as well, potentially. Yeah. So it seems that Quick Draw is range two of the of IGB. And rolls hot fire. He doesn't care. Mm-hmm. Oh, it was through the cloud after all. So it was deemed parallel, so actually that fourth of a technically didn't go through, but the other three that did was more than enough for it to go happen. Who just shot at Kylo? So Kylo shot uh, at four Lom as well. Oh, okay. One damage through with the Force. He's going for it. Hit crit. And quick draw, double evades. Yep. So that's out of range. Yep. Kelvin's asking Table Judge to check Evan's dice. This is all gone way better for Kelvin than expected. He's traded one shield on Forlom for one shield on Kylo Ren. Not bad. Yeah. So, uh, Blue moves on the IG. It's been a while since all their banks. I believe all so, their yeah. threes as well? I believe so. The three forward, the three threes and twos, I think. Yeah, it doesn't have a three turn, of course. It doesn't have three, yep. It has a hard and two, which is Blue a, as well. Yep. And no, no. No. No, no, no. And uh, two turn and one turn. White. Okay. Oh, okay. Am I right in remembering that it had two turns Green back in the day? It yeah, never did. Oh, okay. Because they don't have um, linked actions, they shouldn't be stressing themselves. Except right. With sloops. Of course. Also, okay. of course, as long as uh, IG1 clears and is able to pop the calculate, you'll be able to get that. Now, Forlom has passed the stress yep. over to IG. Allowing, a. allowing for the wonderful advanced sensors barrel roll stop maneuver. Mm -hmm. if, you want, if that's what he wants to do. Yeah. I think that's probably a bad choice here. You think probably a hard one. Hard one, 2K, 4K. Van Sensor's 2K potentially? Yeah, that is the most logical and the best choice. I might have, yeah. 4 would have put you on the... Oh, I guess Van Sensor's, you don't care. You you don't worry about losing an action. Well, we'll see what Kelvin does. He mm -hmm. may move both of those IGs into blocking positions because he mm -hmm. can do a one bank with uh, number two, mm -hmm. which is IGA, and then do another... Just well, as he can you. do a boost on top of that. Right, so B's want. ability... IG IG B's ability in this in 2.0 is the same as it was in yes it okay. was so it's not helping him much here yeah I mean all it does is give him jamming beam shots yep and A's ability in this version mm -hmm. is um that's the one that allows you to pass calculates yep um and to from ship to ship now yep. all of those are reproduced in the other ships because Forlom has IG 88D yeah so they all have those abilities. That was a good call by Evan. So this is going to be a high carnage round, I feel. Yep, this is all guns on Forlom in yep. order to try to wipe him out. We've got a focus into barrel roll for the FO test pilot. So I'm interested to do a Kylo. It's just going to bug out, I would probably say, the hard two. Or the, oh, hard one in. That, in. that makes sense. I mean, you got force. You I got mean, shield where still. Where he is, he's in two arcs. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe he's not in four long's arc. Quick draw may also one turn in. Well, he can't boost, because then he would definitely definitely be an arc. You're right, I think he dodged four long's here. Tough to say. Yeah, he's playing a bit more cautious now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we have a sloop for quick draw. That'll be the three sloop. Mm -hmm. Which will probably be out of four long's arc. Well, I may end up shooting at the FO test pilot. Yeah. Kelvin passes tokens around as he sees fit. Yep. Uh, it makes sense. The one that's got the range one shot on Kylo. And he's mm -hmm. going to take a range one shot from Kylo. Yep. It's 
pattern analyzer quick draw, so this is actually a threatening position. Into number two, I guess. But we'll see when the. Yeah, it's focus for three. Two. I wonder why you shoot number two. One damage into IGA. I guess all guns are on IGA, and that's what Evan's going to go for. Mm hmm. Ah, oh, that's why I did that. Three damage. Okay, so IG, IGA is now a token list, but it's only taken two damage so far. Mm -hmm. From a lot of dice. Two damage on seven double mounted dice is not bad. Yep. And here comes the shot into Kylo, I guess. Yeah. Now, he could proc his ability there. Could he not? Sorry? Could he not proc his uh, ability there now yes, because he he's missed? he's forgotten. Okay. Missed opportunity? He forgot, yep. So I thought as well, there seems to be some confusion on the table. One damage through on whoever Forlon was shooting at. Okay, so it was at the FO test pad. Oh, wow. Now, does Forlon have somebody to give stress to? Is Kylo close enough? He might be in... Is, range, is it in arc or is it just range one in general? Range this one bubble, range right? One. Range one bubble. That's why it's so powerful. Mm -hmm. That was Evan's round. The problem is, though, is that I think in this situation, both the IGs want to... Or at least one of them wants to turn around. Number one could probably do a hard one look for a block. But is Kelvin forgetting about four one? Um, he it's might not think he he can measure, right? Yeah, he can totally measure. Is it one of those abilities that? No, he can just measure. You, okay, so right. you're not forced to give it if it's somebody else is in range. If only one of your ships is uh, in range. So far, one? the rules lawyers have not got to it. So okay. As far as I know. <laughs> okay. And again, that's a main, not a must. So that is also considered. If he didn't want to use it, that would be a miss opportunity. Okay, he's deciding to pass it. He's checking. Yep, yep he's so passed it on to Kylo. Okay, that answers our question. Yep. Okay. So as you were saying, yes, you probably want to sloop with both of those IGs. However, quick draw is still going to be a problem for number two, IG-88A, if that happens. Do you think you see advanced sensors double focus on, I, on Forlom and then bump his IG-2? And then sloop the other ones? You could one turn it with that. No, I don't think that would uh, get beyond number two. Mm -hmm. You could K turn again. Kylo's going to have to disengage. That was the value of that stress token. Yes. Right? Kylo's going to have to get out. He's going to two bank ship left or five or four forward. And, and He could five forward and be fine with it. Do you think five puts him on the cloud, I think? Sure. He didn't care. That's true. He's got force and stuff. It's absolutely true. It's going to get pretty congested in the center here, though. If Kevin wants to keep things close combat, so he absolutely can clog up everybody. The thing is, does Evan really care all that much about getting bumped in this turn? Well, As quick you said, Kylo's still on clear. the line. Yeah. And uh, a slooped IG-88 can still have tokens if some of the other guys get some. Mm -hmm. So I think, uh, number one, that's IG-88B mm -hmm. sloops. Because okay. that puts him in a really sweet position. It's two sloop on the uh, IG? Three, three sloop. Three, okay. three, three. Um, and then he wants the other two guys to actually produce actions. Yes. So maybe a one turn north from number two, that's IG-88A, who's in the most danger health-wise. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, he does the 4K. Oh, and we have the full stop from Forlom. Yeah. So, so then maybe... Somewhere. So then maybe you see a hard one coming in and a calculate on IG-B? I think IGB, like, I think there's no other move. The sloop is like, nope, he is. One turn, calculate. Think he's blocking the test pilot again? Not two bank, or the hard two from the test pilot, and he's potentially blocking Kylo's hard two to the right, which could then block quick draw. This mm -hmm. could be massive. Or oh, does that fit? Yeah. Oh, that, that clears beautifully, the two bank. Yeah. Uh, Evan is also perfectly happy to just set up to do some work on Forlom. That's true. Who has to die. Forlom will definitely feel a little bit of love this round. So Kylo gets out. So there you go. Uh, when in doubt, always choose the maneuver that has the absolute lowest probability of being bumped. Yes. Which is what happened there. Choose the maneuver uh, where your opponent can't go. If you've got a ship there already in that spot, which will move before the one you're thinking about, mm -hmm. 
Uh, so he's got to have to roll Kylo to sit him in that little sweet spot in between all the ships. Yeah. And just eat the one shot from. Yeah. Ig. Um, and Evan is DQ'd. Yeah. All his. Well, it's those really, you know, scale accurate um, silencers that are. Yeah. A little <laughs> bit to blame. I mean, obnoxiously. It would be so unfair. Evan is one of the most precise players I know. Yeah. Uh, it would be so unfair if somebody actually DQ'd him for something like He's that. He's a filthy casual, and you know it. <laughs> uh, that lock that's down there on the asteroid from lock three, is that the test our pilots? Uh, so that's a good, good anti-jamming. Um, I'm not sure whose it is, but it's a good anti anti-jamming bing okay. trick. So you start off in the first turn, you take a lock on something. Yep. Then when you get hit with a jamming bean. That's the one. So you didn't care about it anyways. Yep. So rather than the, the, the jamming token going on you at that point, it must remove the uh, yeah. the uh, token. Yeah, yeah he rotated so the bar. Right? Try to take out the damage, IG. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so quick range draw range one at the rear. Two vades. <laughs> so there's a lot, some jubilation. Mm hmm. So the IG is shooting. So he'll jam <laughs> the up quick Jamming beam okay. is used. And the test order, first order test pilot loses his focus token. I mean, that might actually, that will help from the range one. It will. That's you know, first time mods. in X-Wing history. Yep. <laughs> Kylo takes another, another shield, shield down. <laughs> plink, plink. It's death by a thousand cuts. It's still viable. Like yep. it, all that damage makes the late game easier on Kelvin if he can get in there with one ship down. Two, Forlum takes them both. Mm -hmm. Forlum is down to one shield. Shooting the test pilot. Yep. Oh, hot fire! All four. Wow. Test pilot explodes. Well, okay. Oh no! Sorry, Hit crit, he didn't crit. explode. <laughs> <laughs> so Kelvin is sassing Evan about how Evan had thought he wouldn't even take a damage. Yeah. So direct, direct gets hit, him. He's, he's gone. gone. So about that over in 15 minutes comment, <laughs> Kelvin, when you watch this back. <laughs> so that's tough route for Evan, so for Kylo sure. So Kylo has lost shields. Yeah. I mean, quick draw still at full health. That's yeah. serious. Forlom has given Kylo his stress. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> this is a bad position. So Kylo has to bug out. Order. Yeah. Kylo has to bug out. So advanced sensors stop again? You're quite it happy where you are if you're long. Why like would it. you go anywhere else? Yeah. Or do you... I mean, quick draw can one bank and barrel and barrel roll out of your arc, so it's something to be wary about. Here's a cheeky maneuver. What if you uh, advance sensors for focus and then 2K, block yourself, get the stress? So you, but sure. you move a little bit more forward. Uh, I actually think the best move here is the advanced sensors barrel to um, double calculate and mm. 4K. You know what? You might be right about the barrel, barrel roll, actually. Um, I mean, really, you go left or right. You so can go you can left and then 4K. Right and forward, yeah. and then 4K at a greater distance. Yeah. Uh, quick draw is unlikely to get arc on Forlom. Man, we keep sleeping on how good Forlom is. Forlom is, is such nuts. a good piece in this nuts. edition. Yeah. It's so much better. Yeah, I mean, if you're not a silencer, that thing is terrifying. Yeah, absolutely it is. It's always a danger to play against. I remember the last time I played against uh, a Forlom was actually Evan, which if anybody watched it was on this channel. It was my 17 and a half hour game where I just constantly tried not to get stress on my defenders. <laughs> All right. And Elvin, uh, Kelvin still, sorry, Evan still beat me. So. Oh, so there you go. So you do see a barrel roll. No, it's just... Oh, sorry, it's just clearing. He did, a, he did an advanced sensors, double focus, stop is again. He, is he sticking on Kylo? Kelvin... So Kelvin ruins the game state and is DQ'd. Table judge yelling, you all get one. Evan's already used his <laughs> one. So now Kelvin's used his one. Wow, he's going for Kylo. This is, well, I think he's blocking Kylo? I think he's trying to block the barrel roll that you were talking about. I think he's just trying to protect Forlom. Yeah. And he's trying to keep Kylo from re-engaging on Forlom. In case he was, and he's also keeping pressure. I mean, that IG placement was phenomenal on Kelvin's part. Yeah, I mean, maybe he wanted the tokens for the other two IGs. But he can pass that one to IG uh, IGA now, yep. or he's forcing he's forcing Evan to, to decide which way to go with Kylo. Kylo can't yep. barrel roll back in, lest he be in range one of four Lum. Well, he's not going to end up in range one of four Lum this turn. Okay. 
So you, what do you do here? You can't barrel out of arc, I don't believe. Can you? Yes, you can. Yeah, totally. Go left. So he's got to. What do you think? I Looks think like so. he's locked. Oh no, that's that. I show you the dark side token. Yep. So I think you. I think you just play it safe. You just uh, you barrel ship left and maybe boost to ensure. So my rule when flying Kylo is don't stress him. Okay, only right. if you have to. I mean, the only time that I think it's a good idea mm -hmm. is when you have to K turn or Talon. And um, so he's going to boost. So he target locked and then boost for stress. Okay. Interesting. I wonder why he, he didn't just locked? dodge arc. He, he locked uh, the IG that's in front. IG the damage A. One, number yeah. 2 A. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We have a bug out maneuver. Yeah. A quick draw. Which yeah. Which is a good choice, but that seems to have been. Yeah. I mean, quick draw is going to end up stressed again. Yeah. But it's not a bad spot for her. She's dodged at least one arc. Yep. And that's the only arc that he's actually... That was the more meaningful arc to dodge as well, to be fair. And yep. if you can keep plinking away damage onto Forlom. So Forlom, Forlom takes one more. Lost his shields. Yep. Yep. Shields down. Three hits, naturally. Quick draw. Loses all and shields. And Evan's oh just naturally my. refusing to evade anything my this game. My dice. My dice, baby. And, and that's a quick draw ability gone already on the first turn. Hit crit in return, which Forlom is going to eat. So we got a blinded Forlom. And that in this this version, you can only take the focus action, or the only way you can modify your dice is with the force action. Correct. Okay. And what's most important about that is it's an action to repair that. Right. Card. So unlike the old one, it doesn't just yeah uh, mess with you for a round. It messes you indefinitely unless you take the time to do it. Now. Yep. So it's, he can of the crits is one of the crits I'm most enthusiastic about it. Like I like its shape now. I like yeah. how it affects the game. And I mean, he can always just advance sensors, fix it, 4K, get a focus token. Man, well, Forlom's calculate. a good ship. Yeah. Sorry, calculate. Yeah, yeah. It's the double action economy, which is really kind of yeah. Remember mind link? Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, these aren't focus tokens. They yeah. calculate. So as yeah. we saw in an earlier round, there was a round where Kelvin took a shot and he had a bunch of eyeball results and he spent two calculates in order to fix it. You know, and that's a big drain, but makes sense to do. Well, this is a game all of a sudden. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> it's absolutely a match. But Kylo's going to disengage. Yep. And once he's done that, he's not going to get stressed again. And he can solo kill those two IGs once Forlom is dead. Correct. Quick draw is no longer double tapping. The question is, can Kelvin get quick draw off the board while Forlom's still in play? It would be nice. So I th believe he would have he advanced sensors and fixed crit. Yeah, so he did he did exactly what I thought he might do. Yeah, that's not the move I thought was. And this threatens there. both directions of quick draw, I believe, or no? He's might be doing a boost here. I mean, quick draw will just go straight, right? Yeah. Or sloop. Quick draw stressed though. Oh right, so quick draw must do a straight. So yeah. It will be a three straight most likely. To clear roll, the rock. Roll behind that rock. Yeah. Ignore all these arcs. And we've got and Kelvin just continue to keep IGB hot on the heels of Kylo Ren. Yeah, he's locking him. This <laughs> is the turn to lock everybody because you assume it's in a disengage turn for both of Evan's ships. Mm -hmm. So you take those, take those advantages when you can. Get those low eye locks now. Mm -hmm. They will definitely be coming in handy later. Yeah, and he just boosts here. Yeah, and then he sits behind that rock. He's got two forces. Now he's... who does Kylo have locked again? He's got the damaged IG yeah. number two locked. Yeah, yeah, he's got IGA locked. And his IGA that Kelvin really doesn't want to lose because the whole list action economy depends upon him. Right, so that that's your the, calculate battery. Yeah. So, quick draw did what we thought. Mm -hmm. That puts her in a bit of a spot, doesn't she? Because the the sloop is getting dangerously close to that board it's edge. Not great for next round. And the hard option, the hard turn options aren't great on the SF as well. But she's out of all the arcs and gets right. a shot. And that's all that matters. Well. That's not all that matters, but it's, it's pretty significant. Yeah. Now that that stress token is not on IGA. No. That's just the leftover from Quick Draw. So yeah, this is IG now. will have the hard three next turn. When X Wing is it. played, there's often a lot of stress floating around the yeah. galaxy. Like yeah. if, if you come across a space battle in Star Wars, there's probably a bunch of stress tokens littering space. Dad joke. Yeah, table judge all over it. So that's gonna allow Kelvin a hard three that IG and threaten. Hard one for Lum and threaten. Oh, no, he can't because he's stressed for him. I'm stressed for McKay. 
whatever to her. <laughs> That's amazing. So Kelvin exasperatingly ready. yelled, two every time, man, and then yeah. proceeds to roll two of eight yeah. as well. <laughs> so we should just mic this table. There's a good comedy coming from in there. Yeah. So yeah. does Kylo Mark's come there. tight back in, or does Kylo go screaming out and, and try to come back around and help out Quick Draw? He does whatever he needs to to get Forlom off the table. I think uh, IG1 there, which is IG88B, mm -hmm. three banks. There's no reason not to. Fill all that space. Yeah. Threaten with a range one shot if you come in too aggressively. <coughs> yep. Protect uh, pr protect Forlom's flank. Yep. And here, quick draw has to turn. So um, Forlom has passed the stress to IGA. Yep. Which means no hard turns for IGA. And well, not necessarily because of the action economy of the list. But that rock there makes a hard, a hard turn bad anyway. You don't like the three there? They don't have the three. Turns. Well, they don't have the three anymore. Sorry, I believe you. I remember you saying that at the beginning. Okay, sorry. I just assumed so they have everything. Bank one, I suppose. Oh, that, yeah, is, that, that is the damaged IG. That's IG 88. He could a, bank. care about so much. He could bank one and boost. Keep the pressure on quick draw. He, or do you able, think... he won't be able to bank boost because of the rock after ah, bank one. So. Okay. Three bank ship left, GTO. Yeah. I mean, it's not ideal, but it seems better than throwing dice at quick draw. Or even letting her shoot at you if you don't have to. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. These are three green dice ships, and it gives a shot on quick draw. Quick draw no longer has shit. And there's no double tap coming back, and it's exactly. only the rear arc. It's only two attack dice. Mm -hmm. And you're averaging 1.75 evades a round. Nice math. No, I was just, I randomly made that number right, up. I, I failed so. math. <laughs> <laughs> I know if it's you or I... Well, if you're Evan, you're averaging point zero zero one evades around. So I have less experience with SFs. Quickdraw is going to have to go right, I would assume, at this point. Ship right. Yep. I mean, she could do a straight, but mm -hmm. there's no... Like, it's just suicide. So we're thinking it's a two... Hard two ship right, which is yep. the only white turn they have, correct? Yeah. Okay. That makes sense to me, too. I mean, she could do a one bank and then hard turn the next turn. Mm-hmm but I feel she's got to get back in the action. So we'll see how pressed Evan feels. And this will be two bank. This will be a calculate action, I believe. Yeah. Oh, so he did the two bank so he could set himself up for a sleep next turn. Oh, evade. Yeah. As you said, that's the, that's the one that he needs to defend now. Yeah. Because that's going to be that's two bank calculate. Yeah. And then the calculate from the other one from A will get passed back to A. Yeah. This is a really cool list. It is. It's really neat. You, we could see why they kept everything at initiative four or lower, because this would be um, terrifying if it was five and higher. Yeah. Kylo does do the one turn. He's just going to shoot at IG. But that one's full health. Does that he one, have range to, if he, he has might. range to Forlom, he forces an interesting dilemma for Kelvin. Pass tokens or hold on to them? Yeah. I noticed that um, this turn, Forlom has nobody to pass his stress to. Correct. We could pass it to IG uh, Too far. A. Too it's far. range one only, you're right. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh, three sloop. And look at that. Yeah. That makes sense. Pattern analyzer for focus rotate or yep. barrel roll? Yeah, focus rotate. Okay, that makes sense too. Yep. And now you're pointing in the right direction, and you can re-threaten that IGA, chase it down. Yep. And it can't turn around. Well, it won't be stressed out, so it can three sloop next turn. Yep. We've got face-offs all over the board today. So Evan is shooting at the IG, mm -hmm. and he gets all hits. Oh! So he spends the evade. Yep, takes, takes one crit on the shields. All right. So I think this is the. Oh, that's actually terrible. The double stress now. So now that IG can't. Oh, the the, the, the he had. A, so, I'll show you the dark side. Yes. Now. So that was the. That was the right turn for Evan to roll an additional. Yeah, that's crit. why he did it. That's why he moved target lock, because now that IG can't turn around for two turns, yep. can't focus battery, sorry, can't calculate battery. That was a very good turn for, uh, for Evan. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what he needed to kind of get back into this game yep. with, with a little leg up almost. I mean, so long as Kylo Ren has one hit point yeah. in this game. He's in this game. Yeah. Which is what Kelvin was saying earlier in the interview. He's a, Kylo himself could almost solo this, but he's been putting himself into positions to threaten Kylo continually and make it very, very difficult for Evan to run, run, run away with this. Yeah, he can't do it now, though. Yes. Which is, I think, exactly what Evan hinged on there. Mm -hmm. Yep, no, that was a great move. So if any time Darth Evan the Wise wanted to use the Force, that was the time to get that crit in. Yep. Also, with everybody all stressed out, you can still do token passing as long as IG-A does not sloop. Correct? Yep. Okay. So 
No advanced sensors. So he's only going to have two to give away. Yeah. And that's not a lot of mods for any one ship. So um, IGB must go forward here. Yep. Kylo can do the two. Yep. Get the range one shot. Just put the remaining necessary three damage into Forlom and put him away. Also, yeah. So quick trust. Do you think a three bank to come this way, but down after a Forlom? I think it's a one turn and then double calculate and hope that Kylo rolls badly. No, he's boosting. So that's another range one shot. Take target lock to ensure the deaths. Because you can yeah. initiative kill here. Yep. So you've got force. You just take a lock. A lock and the gamble two. is worth it. A lock and two force. And maybe there's a shot back from um, IGA, but it's hmm. unmodified. Unless, no. I'm not sure what's going on with the locks. I think Forlom has a lock on Kylo. But there's very little chance he'll survive here. So here we go. And that's four. Double crits. Yep. Still dies. Wow. That's the end. So, so that's what he needed to get him. A big chain of crits. Yep. Two hits and two crits. So we got one stress left on IG... A. Mm -hmm. so IGB, sorry. So they can't turn around, and IGA, the one that we want to keep alive, is flying into a kill box. Yep. So you, what, you go two forward or two one bank to block Hilo and just take the shot from Quick Draw? So and IG, IGB's got a one bank or two bank? Mm -hmm. Probably a one bank or a one straight. One straight, would, oh, do they have one straight? Do they have one straight? Yes, they can, Okay. Um, I mean, I think he probably does a three bank to get out and get a different attack vector going on. You can also bank the uh, calculate tokens. Right, and then IG uh, A could do a three bank as well, and then boost because it'll have calculate token as well. Mm -hmm. And then come back around in a unified pinch. Mm -hmm. I mean, two might want to go where Kylo wants to go for three straight. It's a reset round for Kylo. For yeah. Kylo. And he's got literally no upgrades on these guys. So, uh, do you think a boost is coming here? I think so. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, block the most obvious Kylo maneuver, forcing him into the three bank or wherever he's going. Two forward, and does he clear? He might actually clear that. So, ooh, Kelvin clearly would be surprised that he got this far. Yep. He but has I think half damage Kylo. It's but close. But losing Forlom was a momentum shift back into Evan's favor. Yep. Because that's a Kylo, Kylo takes the lock, quick draw three banks in or two banks in, takes a pot shot at somebody. That is a lean quick draw. Sorry? That is a lean quick draw. Yep. 60 it's points only. Quick draw. So lean everything. Every Everything in Evan's list is very lean. Yeah, it's 199 points. Mm -hmm. Honestly, it's quite fierce. I think Evan is deciding whether or not to stress. Oh, I see. Because he took the lock. Because he had to spend it last time to get all that damage through. Yeah, there's no need for him to stress himself here. No, because I think he's going to want to tell roll next turn. Yeah, he can do that. Yeah, I think that makes no sense there. Still, he might want to think about it. And not just, like us, commentators say stuff which right. pops into their head. Right. I just, that's how I fly. I just do, oh, I'm thinking about it, I'm doing it. I'm not going to think about it. Thinking's for winners. Yeah. Yeah, I gave up on thinking tonight. Right? <laughs> this bomb. Did you use heroic? Nope. Ah, uh, see, that's what he did wrong. Well, no FCS here, so do you even waste the action on the target lock? Or are you are you fine with your position because you can threaten fours, you can you can the banks and the lefts, you don't really need to barrel roll, you're not forcing anything, because that IG, IGB is going to hard hard turn next turn. So, yep. uh, Yeah, so he's got the range three through the cloud, I believe. Mm -hmm. So they're checking for obstruction. Yep. Because that will matter, because that's the debris cloud now has the old 1.0 auto thrusters ability where it turns a blank to an evade. And, and yes. also adds an evade die. That's an obstruction. Yeah. Um, it actually matters pretty uh, significantly here. Called the, and it's called obstructed by judge? Yeah. Um, so, I mean, he could still get unlucky here. He 
Yeah, well, he could still roll three not. attacks and he could blank. No. No. So I mean, five dice. Five dice. All the mods in the world auto, should not have hit, but yep. stranger things have happened. Indeed they have. Okay, so we're back to a game again now. All the actions, uh, all the repositions have cleared. What do you, if you're Calvin, what do you do to re-engage and re-threaten? You know you need to keep A alive as long as possible, but you've also got target locks on A from all of Evan's very scary ships. Higher initiative ships. Yep. And if he two turns mm -hmm. with um, uh, number one, that is IGB, mm -hmm. um, he'd want to boost afterwards just in case quick draw goes fast or mm -hmm. Kylo comes around. He can't really do that. Because um, if he does, and he uh, sloops with number two, mm -hmm. that is IG-88A, uh, then he will have no tokens. Now, do the, uh, they, they do have hard ones, so could he not hard one with both, as he's doing right now, with both of them? Yeah, that, that might be a plan. Or he might boost with this one. Or he's going to okay, calculate yeah, with this one. be the calculator battery. Right? And then RGA could hard... Oh, okay, so he did the sloop. Yeah. I mean, that's a good position long term. Yeah. And it looks like each of the IGs has a lock on each of the different ships. Yeah, and that's a superior place for that ship to be. The, full, the point in the same direction, he's reformed up his ships. Mm -hmm. And so has Evan, and we're going to a good old-fashioned joust-off. Yeah, I think that'll be out of range, and I think that's what Evan wants. Yeah, and no so. pattern analyzer, so there's nothing, no shenanigans he can do, and then he's slooping. Yeah, pattern analyze. He doesn't need to rotate arc, he's already fine. No, so that's a neat move. Uh, Evan didn't want either one of his ships to take shots from both guys. That's smart. Yep. Move in second. He is committed to a blue forward maneuver there. And they have no banks that are blue, the TSFs? Oh, yeah, they do. Twos or ones? Ones and twos. Mm, the one's As a nice option. Two, one, oh. Yep. The two is great on them. They really actually do have a fantastic dial now. Mm -hmm. uh, the three turns became white. So the question here now for Kelvin, if you're Kelvin, do you commit on Kylo now? Because you assume a two bank blue is coming, two bank left. So the further away IG, that's um, IGB mm -hmm. at the top, uh, is the one with the lock on Kylo. Mm -hmm. Now Kylo can probably do two bank here and slither out of anything that IGB points at him, especially with that cloud in the middle. So I think he has to try to get quick draw. He does have a lock from a woo. Just, yeah, you absolutely boost for a range one shot. He's got the lock, and he can get out of the other IG's arc. Yeah, one bank. So move lock, I think, to IGA? Yep. Oh, no, because both of the locks are on IGA. Yeah, both of Evan's locks here. Here comes the shot. Spend lock? Yeah. Spends the lock, holding on to his focus. He's got to hit crit, and he's deciding on whether or not to change that eyeball. Yeah. Yeah, I and think so. I think this makes sense. Okay, so hit crit. To hit crit. Or, yeah. Fuel leak. Oh, fuel That's leak. nasty. He's got a fuel leak going on. Okay, that's four through. <laughs> trip, trip of AIDS. See, the key, lives. the key is to roll your dice like you hate them. <laughs> and then you'll get natties. With disdain. Because normally, whenever I do that, that's what happens to me, too. So we got a range one and quick draw. Mm -hmm. Quick draw takes one. Still plinking. Still plinking. So we've got an unstressed Kylo. Locked on the... Nope, no longer locked. Who's... Oh, yeah. He's... He did, one. yeah. He only had to spend a force to get four last mm -hmm. round. He did hit, hit, hit. I think he did hit, hit, crit, I. Yeah, this looks like the end game for Kelvin. So, uh, hard one for Kylo, and happy birthday. <laughs> I yep. think. That's and then sloop with quick draw? Three sloop ship left? Or no? Or do you get cute and go ship right? Or you don't even sloop at all, just go forward. Rotate arc rear if you have to. You can lose, you can lose quick draw if you take... IGA off the board. IGB can't beat Kylo by himself. Yep. Or itself, sorry. Yeah. It is a droid. You could just three turn away with quick draw. Ah, yeah, that makes sense Rotate too. Rotate the arc barrel roll if necessary. They have banks too. They can just three bank left. Yep. But the idea is to rather, you'd rather not get bumped and be able to yep. rotate than you're better off rotating arc rear and getting a rear shot than not taking a shot at all. I mean, you could do a five straight as well. Right. That's which because they got that as well. I forgot how great SFs are. And Kelvin's throwing the aggro. Going for the sleep. 
And that'll All be right. a calculate. Yeah. Yep. Two turn, okay. Yeah. I guess that makes sense. One turn probably would have put you in the cloud. No, no, it wouldn't have. It would have just hugged. And that's why you move your tokens. Yeah. And they're having an identity crisis with the target locks. Mm. But they've sorted it. And it's the five straight. Just control. like you called. It's a good choice. Yeah. And then it's two guns on the damaged IG. Yeah. Yeah, focus or take back. That'd be range one, most likely. Yeah. So you still get the th you get the third die still. Yeah. Still a potent gun. Yep. So Kelvin passed the token there, assuming he's going to lose IGA. Yeah. And figured there's no point totally in taking rational. tokens with me. Yeah. With two arcs, I'm going. So if anybody was curious why he would pass tokens on the ship that was getting attacked, that's why he did it, I believe. Which makes sense, if you're looking at the way the, way the game's been going. Of course, which means now he's going to natty evade every single attack this round. And yep, so the IG evades. Yep. So it's a good thing that Evan put two guns on him. Spends force, and... It's dead, so... Nope. Still alive. Still sitting on one. Still one? Still one. Because he evaded the entirety of the first oh one. Oh, my. Which means now he does three damage and kills Quick Draw here. Nope, just two. Two. That's a cock die. Oh, that's fine. What, what happened? Hit crit. Doesn't that kill Quick Draw? No, Quick Draw is one from death. Nope. And oh, okay. Wow. Okay. IGA hanging on. On one hull. On one hull, yeah. Well, 25 minutes is a very long time for Kelvin to try to keep an IG-88 be alive from Kylo Ren. Yep. And if he could half point Kylo Ren. And he really could. And half points on IGB. He could, and kill Quick Draw, obviously lose IGA. He could win. So there is a win condition here. There is. <laughs> and it's not as far fetched as it sounds out loud. It's conceivable. It's not it's not a position I'd ever want to be in because I would lose in like four minutes. It's pretty skinny. So you're saying there's a chance. There's a chance. <laughs> and as we all know, you should never tell anybody the odds. Yep. Okay. K turn. Four K. He's yep. just making him work for it. Yeah, and then one forward calculate probably. Um, I think kill quick draw is the operative idea here, but quick draw can get away so many ways. No, he's going to go for the shot on uh, on Kylo. If he can get half points here, he's doing well. But he won't, because Kylo will just boost. Boost in the range one? Target lock. Well, he has target lock, doesn't he, from last round? Yeah, does so the he... boost get him out? I don't think so. Nope, he'd have to... No. Boost in barrel roll, which is fine to do if there's oh, okay. a target lock. Yes, then you can absolutely do that. Boost one forward and barrel roll. Yeah. yeah, you're right. He absolutely can. And this is why you say you like to keep Kylo unstressed. You have options to do stuff like this. Yep. When you absolutely need to, which is like right now. Yep. So it looks like... Now, did he... No, he still has arc. Yeah, it looks like it. Three sloop. So blinded has been turned down. With pattern analyzer. And you cannot <laughs> rotate, you cannot link actions off of card flips, so you have to, you can only do that action. I'm just natty. Oh no, pattern analyzer, I think, as it stands. So. Having looked at everyone's dice today, Evan, you have not rolled a single blank, I don't think, on your attack dice, and I don't think you've rolled a single evade on your evade dice. Calvin's been rolling pretty average. There's some dice arguing going on, folks. Yep. Uh, what else? Uh, it was pretty inevitable that IGA would die yes, there. Yes, I think we were all expecting that to happen last turn, mm -hmm. even the players. Yep. So now it's the uphill battle. Yes, it is. And Kylo is stressed, I believe. The, oh, yeah, the token yep. is there. The so occupiers. can IGB kill Quick Draw? Not without suffering damage first. So do you think you just one bank? Yeah. With IG and true. just calculate? Yeah. Yep. And just hope for the range one exchange to go in your favor? Yeah, because so Kylo is going to be able to harass. I think he can barrel roll boost, get back into arc. Possibly. Or he might even be able to do it with just the barrel roll. Oh, how much? I guess he could barrel roll ship left and then, no, never mind. It's been a long time since I've played. Yeah, that makes more sense. Okay. That's what I was thinking initially. Yeah. No, bank boost would take him out of arc. So he's just going to sit there, I think, and be happy. Yep. Wait for next round. Yeah. Because he's already got the target lock, so he's happy. Oh, no, he's uh, going to go for it. He, I don't think Evan has a target lock. Those are Kelvin's. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, he might have gotten him. 
this is the throwback. I mean, Kelvin had real no options. This is oh, what he yeah. had to do. He had to do this. And he had to do what he did last round, essentially, too. He couldn't run away with, I with them. He's got a lot of IGB left. Yep, it's still in a three evade dice ship, three attack dice. Yep. It's not a slouch, remember? So it's still a great ship. So Evan is contemplating barrel rolling left. To try to get the cloud to cover him. He decides can he you, cannot. Yeah, because can, can you do that without Can you do that without giving the cloud back to IGB? Okay. It's range two. There you go. That's why he didn't do it. So hit crit and an eyeball. Holds the focus, so it's the move. Spends one calculate. Mm -hmm. Takes nothing. Okay, so Kylo did not get arc on that. Spends one. He just needs one blank. He doesn't get it. So I, he can Kylo re... lives. Or quick draw lives. I guess there's really no point in using the jamming beam because what's the point of drumming off a focus on... No, no, no. <laughs> no. If there was a target lock, he would be jamming it. I mean, we had one heroic jamming beam moment in this game. Yep. I think we should count that as, like, the one for the year. Absolutely. And I think also, in the previous round, we were saying he didn't elect a jamming bean. There was no token worth jamming off. No. That's why he didn't bother wait using it. What can Kelvin possibly do here? Well, he's got to turn around. So, the three sloop would still put him in range of quick of Kylo's two straight, would he not? He could two straight and barrel. Yeah, he's got a K turn. Yeah, I mean, he could have turned such, to, to, such as to block Kylo play it out a bit longer, but there's only 19 minutes left. Um, and, you know, Kylo's gonna... Target lock. I mean, he can barrel roll and boost and just play it out. He's got 133 points on him. Right, he killed the other RG. So he just plays it out. I mean, he could just one forward rotate rear with Quickdraw and focus. I think Quickdraw's doing a five straight here. She's on one hole and you she's think, on one. Back. Okay, well, I guess that's just. There's no reason to play aggressive. It's 20 minutes. No, play cautious. It's 20 minutes and Evan is up. Yeah, there's no and reason to play aggressive. A modified shot with the force. Yeah. On to an on, on a ship with unmodified defense. Or three bank even and then barrel roll. That's a good call. Or just oh, loop. It's a loop. Okay, never mind me. Pattern analyze, focus, rotate. I'm completely wrong about everything. Oh, or does he barrel roll? Yeah. My barrel roll. They can link barrel roll into rotate, correct? They can link yep. anything into rotate. So. Uh, pattern Analyzer does allow you to do the linked action because Pattern line Analyzer happens before mm -hmm. um, the check difficulty step is the card, which is magically appear choices. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Victor. Excellent overlays as always. Mm -hmm. So uh, Evan's contemplating, does he roll or does he focus? Yep. He's going to focus He's rotate. rotate that much is sure. Yep. So two obstructed, so he'll have the auto thrusters. Yep. Range two obstructed. Range three obstructed, so range three obstructed. Okay, get the judge in there. Sheesh. All the fi all of the dice, all of the evade. Hey, three damage into the IG shields yeah. now. He gets nothing. Nope. Seventeen minutes left. The wind conditions of this IG eighty eight are getting more and more distant on the horizon. Just fading away. Yes, because I think now if you're Evan, you just fly quick draw in for a bump. Sure. Like, whatever. Shoot with Super Kylo from the rear again. Mm -hmm. Hard to Kylo. That's a difficult call, actually. I think double calculate would be better. Yeah, it's it's uh it's tough. Yeah. This is the end. Yeah, and that's two range one shots. It's not gonna feel nice. I mean, we've seen some green dice magic so far. Oh, there's a quick draw that'll walk. Yep. Just two. So two evades with yep. the spent evade. Here two. comes Kylo range one, target lock, force. Mm -hmm. Oh, some blanks there so now. Four crits. No. Yeah, four for four two hits, hit two crits. Crit, crit. So hit, hit. Ooh, and that's direct the game. hit. 
Direct hit ends it. The double those two direct hits ending ships lives this game. Yeah. Well, that was uh, pretty well played by Kelvin. Nice opening. Yes. He hung on longer than he expected to. It was actually a very swingy match right in the middle there. It was very, very yep. tense. And there was a potential for that to go a different way. Yep. I mean, the potential was there. It was not very likely. <laughs> True, as, as we were all commenting, that's a high initiative, all repositionable ships. It's very difficult for the yeah. lower reposition ships if to deal with. If you managed to get more damage into Kylo there earlier, but um, when uh, round round five or six, Evan decided not to let him ever again. Yeah. And yeah, he, he get, well, that's why, yeah, you gamble a couple times and you start to get the plink damage. You start to be like, okay, that's enough. Yeah. Enough is enough. I'm playing safe. And then this is very difficult to pick.